Okay, I'm reading a story for my students. It's called Hello Everybody on Earth. Hello Everybody on Earth. Hello Everybody on Earth. Okay. It happened at the busiest spot in town. A young man suddenly stopped by the roadside and announced the following in a loud voice. Hello everybody on Earth. I'm very pleased to meet you. Passers-by stopped in surprise to look at him. He seemed gentle enough and had a small case in his hand. Won't you celebrate this mem memorable day with me? He continued with a smile. They all listened to him in astonishment. Then one of the onlookers suddenly remembered something. Ah, I've got it now. Today is April 1st. April Fool's Day, when you play tricks on people. This show is a good one. At this, the others all laughed and nodded. Evidently, they were amused by it. One man began to clap. The young man bowed and addressed them even more loudly. To be warmly, to be warmly received makes me feel it has really been worth my while coming. We have a high level of civilization on our planet and we live in peace. We believe we can help you. If there is anything you'd like, please tell me, and I'll bring it for you. Nobody took him up for his offer. All right, we understand, someone called out. But it's not funny anymore. If you want to go on talking like that, you'd better go elsewhere. They started to walk away. Undeterred by the flagging interest, the young man raised his voice all the more. Due to my arrival, you'll all be able to enjoy a much better lifestyle. When he said this, a man in the crowd began to get angry. You're getting boring. We like a bit of a joke, but you're going too far, and you're making a nuisance of yourself. You're creating a disturbance. I'll fetch the police and have you taken away. He's not as bad as that. He's a bit soft in the head to be pitied, really. Perhaps we should take him to the hospital, someone else said. Most people agreed with this opinion. They closed in on the young man and dragged him off to hospital. What are you doing, he said. It was for all of you that I came. He shouted and resisted, but was overpowered. There was an excellent, enthusiastic doctor at the hospital who had lots of equipment and all kinds of drugs. So before long, the young man was cured. Well, what sh that should do it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, that should do it. Do you still think you've come from another planet? The doctor asked. No, I don't. Then you're completely cured. I don't think we'll be seeing you here again. Thank you very much, but where should I go? Home, of course. Have you forgotten where, that, where it is? Oh, you had a case with you. Perhaps there will be something inside it that will tell us. The case was opened. Inside it was a device never before seen on Earth. It was very complicated, and nobody knew how to use it, but it seemed to be some means of communication. The doctor was taken aback. Your story seems... Your story must have been true. Please use this and get in touch with your planet. But the young man simply looked vacant. What's this? How do you use it? And what do you want me to get in touch with? He was clearly beyond recovery. The end.